Hi everyone! For my final project, I chose to do The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. It is a fresco-like painting and it is located in Milan in the Santa Ma Ma Maria de Grisi um, along the back wall of a main dining hall. So um, some of the interesting story aspects of this painting, um, as many people know, uh, it is a depiction of the Last Supper as read about in the New Testament of the Christian Bible. Um, it focuses on two main parts of that story. The first part is when Jesus um, breaks bread and serves wine to his disciples. Um, when he breaks bread, he says, this is um, bread, it represents my body. And when he um, pours the wine, he says, this is, um, this is my blood, um, for it will be shed for you for the forgiveness of all sins. Um, this can be seen by Jesus and the bread and the wine throughout the table. Um, the second interesting part that Leonardo focuses on in this painting is when Jesus announces that one of them will betray him um, that evening. Um, and he says that the person to reach for the plate will do this. Um, all the, you can see all of the disciples reacting differently to this news, like, no, Jesus, we could never, we will never betray you, like, it wasn't me. Um, and Ju Judas is actually seen right here, and he is holding a pouch um, that Leonardo d implies is a pouch full of money for his reward for turning Jesus in. And um, you can also see him reaching for a plate which also implies that he is the one to betray Jesus. Um, another interesting symbol that is um, present throughout this painting is um, the use of the number three. And um, in Christianity, three is an important number because it represents the Holy Trinity, which is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, so you can see several groups of three throughout the painting. There are three windows in the back. Um, there are all of the disciples, there's four groups of three disciples, so here's a group of three, here's a group of three, here's a group of three, and here's a group of three. Um, so Jesus also represents a triangular, um, three thing by the way that Leonardo painted his body with his arms to the side and him upright. So that's pretty interesting to think about. And some cool in, um, historical facts about this piece, um, it was uniquely created similarly to a fresco, like I said earlier, um, but da Vinci was a perfectionist and he wanted to make it better than a normal or typical fresco. So he experimented with tempura paint um, on a dry sealed plaster wall rather than use um, uh, how a typical fresco is made by painting on a um, wet plaster wall and this was actually unsuccessful um, which is crazy to think about because it's still such a famous painting but uh, the painting soon flaked a couple decades um, after it was created and um, now it has severe deterioration and what's on the wall in Milan today is actually not exactly what it originally looked like when Leonardo painted it um, because it's been restored so many times. Um, but yeah, it took Leonardo around three years to paint this. And again, it was um, created in Milan, still is in Milan in the same place that Leonardo made it. Um, and it was commissioned by the Duke of Milan to paint it. So yeah, this is um, The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci, and those are some cool historical and facts about it, and diving into the story of it a little bit. Thanks for watching.